Welcome back. The Department of Urban Renewal hosting a post-Father's Day lunch in on Grand Bahama this week. Scores of men were a part of the festivities and they were admonished to continue to be positive examples in the home and the community. Jamila Mizik was there. Urban Renewal celebrating fathers on Grand Bahama with a post-Father's Day luncheon under the theme The Priest, The Prophet and The King. Deputy Director of Urban Renewal Jasmine Darius says they're honoring over 170 fathers for their work not just in the home but in their community and the nation at large. The father is the person that actually gives the child their identity. And so what we're doing today is celebrating our good fathers, celebrating uh, the presence of fatherhood, uh, the males that are in the homes that are actually wearing children and helping to develop and train our children. And so we want them to know that we appreciate them. And so I'd like to say Happy Father's Day to all of the fathers uh, all over the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and to my daddy, Chile and Turner in T Bay Cat Island. Former Ambassador Maurice Moore says the country needs more fatherly leadership and Chief Counselor Kendall Calmer agrees. The Bahamas needs more than ever before to feel, to see and to be able to hear from the fathers of our country, fathers of our community, fathers of our island and what it will do, it will bring a greater respect in the community. Right now in, the, in our society, men are becoming a dying breed and I think that we as men need to step up our game as men and become stronger fathers and be more significant in society. Father of two, Fletcher Lewis Jr. says it's important to recognize fathers. In order to be honored as a father, you must have done something special in some way or another for not only your children, but your, your communities as well. So I think it's a wonderful thing that we are honoring these members here today. Jamila Mizik, ZNS Network News. A big meeting held this past weekend for girls in the community. The conference, sponsored by a girls mentorship group, aims to mold young women into model citizens of society. Over 90 young girls gathering to take steps toward turning their dreams into reality at the second annual AIM High Girls Conference. Founder and President Sabrina Brown says that she, along with volunteers and mentors, want the young ladies to know that whatever they can dream, they can achieve. The Bible also says that faith without works is dead. So once your faith is activated, then you must now begin to work to put some measures in place towards achieving those goals. It's not good enough to just say, I have a dream for my life, I have a vision. You have to know how to activate those those dreams and those vision for and the vision for your life. And so what we're gonna do today is walk them through building their own vision board. So each young lady will design their very own vision board, which we like to believe will become the blueprint for their lives. And so we hope that they will use that vision board as a reminder and as a motivation towards achieving their goals in life. Presenter and acting principal at East End School, Roshita Roll, adding that it is important to not only have a goal in life, but also a plan. She shares her experience of turning her dream into a reality. If we don't plan, we'll fail, so we should be planning. Um, so we're going to go deal with our vision boards and we're going to show them steps and guides on how they could accomplish their goals and their visions. For example, me, I started teaching a teacher vid at 17 years old, and I just want them to know that they can start as young as possible, and they should plan for young as possible. For my, with a child, I knew that I wanted to be an educator, so I worked towards that goal. These young ladies had a blast at the vision board party. They say they hope the fun activity will help them as they put their plans on paper and work toward a bright future. I am so excited to make my first vision board today because I think it will help me focus on achieving my goals in life and it's going to be super fun. I'm very excited to be here and I get to meet new people and as Ms. Rule said earlier, um, a vision board is making your dreams a reality. So that's why I'm very excited to make my vision board because in the future I wish to become a nurse or um, a forensic scientist. When I grow up, I want to live my best life, doing hell, make money.
I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, welcome. Danielle in Nassau asked the question regarding cholesterol and why her doctor was so concerned about her levels. So I will discuss a little more on this topic. Some of you may have heard the term good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. Low density lipoprotein, or LDL, also called the bad cholesterol, transports cholesterol particles throughout your body. This type of cholesterol builds up in the walls of your arteries, making them hard and narrow. High density lipoprotein, or HDL, also called good cholesterol, picks up excess cholesterol and takes it back to your liver. Embracing a healthy lifestyle that includes physical activity, like walking or swimming at least four to five days a week, avoiding foods high in fat and sugar, eating healthier options at mealtime, including fresh vegetables and fruits, drinking water, and getting sufficient sleep can all help to control your cholesterol. If lifestyle modifications don't work, you can discuss medication options with your doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Signature Furniture is a new online furniture store which carries a variety of household furniture, including bedroom sets, living room sets, dining room sets, you name it, Signature Furniture has it. What sells the most at Signature Furniture are bedroom sets and also those beautiful benches that you can put to the foot of your bed. And most of all for the ladies, the floor mirrors where you can actually stand and see yourself dressed before you go out. With the online process, you just go ahead and choose your selection, and once you put it into your cart, fill out the information and submit your order, and it comes directly to the store email's address. Payments can be made credit card or cash. And once that payment is made, our goods would be delivered and shipped to your house within eight working days. We're located at number one, Central Area, West Atlantic Drive. Our store hours are 9.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, and Saturday, 9.30 to 2.30. Our phone contact is 242-688-4000. You can find us on Instagram and also Facebook.